Welcome back to PSC's Tech Byte. Today I want to talk with you about a topic that I really like. In fact, when we use the managed identities, we can also rely on those identities, for example, in an Azure web app, or in an Azure function app, or generally speaking, in an Azure resource, in order to access securely the Microsoft Graph APIs. In fact, with the managed identity, you don't need anymore to have a client secret or a certificate, and you can just rely on the managed identity to consume Microsoft Graph with application-only permissions. In a .NET application eventually hosted in a function or in a web app, you can rely on the Azure.identity library to get the access token and consume Graph directly. So, like always, let me move to the demo environment and let me show you how you can do that in practice. Here we have uh, an Azure function that I implemented uh, using uh, Visual Studio and .NET. And we can see that in the definition of this function, we have a list users function, which will simply provide uh, in the run method a base code to get a list of users with application only using the graph SDK. The interesting part here is that, first of all, in this function, we rely on the chain token credential type available in Azure.identity. And we create a chain token credential where we put in the chain the managed identity that eventually the uh, function will have, or in this scenario, the Visual Studio credential in case I want to do local debugging in my Visual Studio machine uh, of this function. Then I declare that I want to get an access token for this scope, which means give me the default application-only permissions for this application. And then using the Graph Service Client, I make a, a new instance of the Graph Service Client providing the credential type and the scopes that I'm looking for. As such, then I can simply make a GET query asynchronously for the list of users in my tenant and I can populate a resulting object which I will simply return as the result of my function. So this is quite simple and straightforward. Now, the interesting part of the story is that if we switch to the Azure resource which will host our Azure function, here we have an Azure function app in my Azure subscription. If I go under identity, I can see that I have a system assigned managed identity for this application. And if I look at the enterprise applications in my tenant for the managed identities, I can recognize that specific application. And by clicking on it, we can see under permissions that this application has been granted the user.read.all permission for Microsoft Graph. Meaning that if I go back to the function and I will try to invoke the list users function that I have in my function app under code plus test, I can easily see that I have the list of users in my tenant. Let me do that. Test run. Let me maximize this one. And I can run this function. And I can see that I can get back the list of users in my tenant using the graph SDK and using a secure connection. But if we go to the settings, to the configuration of my Azure function, we don't have any specific setting to connect to Microsoft Graph because we simply rely on the managed identity, system assigned managed identity that we have associated to our Azure function app. In order to do that, using, for example, the Bash Cloud Shell integrated in the Azure portal, we can do something like that. First of all, we need to declare a few variables to get some reference values that we are going to use. So, for example, the name of the function app that we want to configure. Then we need to get the ID of the application that we are targeting. So by doing that, we get the ID of the identity for our application. And in fact, if I do an echo of this SP ID, I can see this is the unique ID of my application. Then I also need to get the unique ID of Microsoft Graph because I will need to associate my application to Microsoft Graph and to grant some permissions to that application. So if I do that, I can get the ID of the graph resource ID and by using this one, using the target identity ID and by making another request to get the app role ID for the permission I'm willing to grant to my application, which is in this scenario user.read.all, this app role ID that I've just got through the Bash uh, Azure CLI, 
I can now create an HTTP POST request for Microsoft Graph in order to grant this permission to my target application. How can I do that? Well, the target URL to do this grant of the permission is the following one. So let me set a variable for that. This will be the graph microsoft.com version one service principal, the ID of my service principal slash app role assignments. If I make a get of the app role assignments for this app, I will get what's already there, which is the user.readAll. Actually, if I want to create from scratch this uh, uh, association, association and this grant, uh, I will need to make a post request providing in the body the ID of the principal ID that I want to target uh, and the resource ID, which will be graph, and the role ID, which will be the user.read.all role. So if I will execute this command and using the Azure CLI, to make a REST request, I will add my uh, request with a POST method, providing the URI that I just defined, providing the body of the request that I created and declaring that my request will be an application JSON request, I can then associate or grant that permission to my application principal. As you can see, the application here is already assigned to my application, so I don't need to do it multiple times, doesn't really matter. But if if it was a different permission, I would be able to add it using this syntax. As I showed you before, the permission is already granted to my application. But this is the syntax, this is the way of working to grant a permission from Exograph to a managed identity. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you found it interesting and I'm looking forward to seeing you next week. Thank you.